Professor George Stegeman is a world authority in the field of optics, a pioneering research in nonlinear integrated optics, and a staunch promoter of excellence in the sciences. Professor Stegeman earned his PhD from the University of Toronto and is Emeritus Professor of Optics, Physics, and ECE at the College of Optics and Phototonics of the University of Central Florida. He was the first Cobb Family Chair in Optical Sciences and Engineering at the University of Central Florida and held a Teaching and Research Chair in the College of Engineering at King Fahd University of Petroleum and Minerals in Saudi Arabia. I met George about 15 years ago. It was, I was at the time one student with my supervisor, uh, Stuart Hutchinson, that uh, was in Toronto. And uh, he told me, Roberto, from, from tomorrow we're going to work with George. So I was very, very scared to meet this very important person. And they say, this guy must be very serious and uh, he must be very critical with the people. I imagine like a very old and uh, hard professor, but uh, I was very surprised to meet a very nice person, a very enthusiastic person, but uh, uh, most of all a person that was really nice with uh, young people like us. I remember that in any kind of conference, George is always the soul of the conference, and he has always good suggestions and a lot of energy for everybody, but most of all, he likes to encourage, he likes to teach, he likes to wrote books, he, he made courses, just to make, to prepare the young generation to be the scientist of the future. So it's a great scientist and a great educator. Dr. Stegeman's creativity and scientific imagination have led to a number of discoveries. A prime example is the ultra-fast system for processing massive amounts of information that grew out of his research in non-linear optics. Professor Stegeman has over 700 publications to his name and is the third most cited author in optical letters. His work with the INRS's Energie Matériaux Telecommunication Research Center has also led to numerous scientific articles. I can say that Professor Stegeman had a great influence in my career, scientifically, as an educator, but I can tell a very important episode. So, at the time, I was a very young professor and I was just coming to organize a rather successful but small workshop. And at the time, they were organizing a very big conference of the Optical Society of America, and they were sitting among many other people. And the committee at the time was looking at the next program chair of this important conference, and uh, they were discussing about the senior people and suddenly George entered the room, he was not even in the committee and said the next program chair is going to be Roberto and uh, everybody accepted because of course not because I was a good choice but because George it's really a great personality and is always uh, there to encourage young people. He is a fellow of the Optical Society of America and the American Physical Society and recipient of many prestigious awards Researcher of the Year at the University of Central Florida, the Bluto Award from the Polish Photonic Society, and an honorary degree from Mexico's Instituto Nacional de Astrofisica, Optica y Electronica. Dr. Stegeman has also won the coveted R. W. Wood Award given by the Optical Society of America and the Hertzberg Medal from the Canadian Association of Physicists. For all these reasons, and in recognition of his outstanding research and teaching contributions in the field of optics and photonics in Canada and worldwide, INRS is pleased to award this honorary degree to Professor George Stegeman. George, first of all, I would like uh, to thank you in name of everybody to be here, but I would like to thank you most of all for the great contribution you made for optics. I think it's today optics is what it is, is thanks to your great work and uh, I think even more important I would like to thank you for having been a great educator and a great uh, example for young people. If today in Canada and in the world we have uh, so many enthusiastic people that still try to follow your example and of course it's very difficult, I think it's uh, been thanks to your really great uh, lecture about science and about life. Thank you George very very much.